I'm Doug Doyle with the art of the story. There's silver on the sage tonight Sprinkled by the moon above So lie down, doggies, and let me dream Of the one I love Singer Hilary Gardner is best known as a member of the trio Duchess, but her unique music journey began as a teenager in Alaska, singing vintage country tunes. Gardner recently spoke with WBGO announcer and legendary vocalist Janice Siegel, the Manhattan transfer, about Hilary's latest project, On the Trail with the Lonesome Pines. Tell me about the inception of this record, because I know... As as many of us, we got because of the limitations of the lockdown and the pandemic, and the, you know feeling closed in. We were maybe dreaming of wide open spaces. So, how did that happen for you? That definitely was the seed that kind of started it all. As as all of us who were in New York City and working in music, and and in and out of New York City for that matter. But the lights went off. You know overnight. It was literally overnight. I mean, people, as as happened, you know, with Duchess, the vocal trio, we were in Atlanta to do a gig the next day. And so it was just this instantaneous thing. And all of a sudden, the world just got so small. And I wasn't hankering like to, to sing some of the same stuff that I'd been singing. I think I was longing to do to still do music, but I, without really knowing it, was on the cusp of some big sort of creative changes and, and professional changes. And so I think this, my subconscious was probably working very hard and what felt like just kind of a new genre and something that touched on these themes of open spaces and, and the ability to wander through nature was also kind of pointing me in a direction truly towards unexplored territory. But I also grew up, like I grew up singing country music. That was the first music I ever sang. yippee there'll be no wedding bells for today. I wanted to know, like, how'd you get interested in this genre? Yeah. Was it, it was Alaska, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Alaska. I mean, even before Alaska, <laughs> my dad tells a story about, I was born in Omaha and he tells a story about dancing me around the living room, you know, at six months old to Hank Williams records, Aww. you know, like it was, um, so wow. Patsy Cline was a hugely formative singer for me. We had vinyl records and I sang along so much to Patsy Cline. She is as formative for me as like Ella Fitzgerald was or Joni Mitchell, just one of those bedrock kind of artists. And being Alaska, you know, there wasn't really much live jazz. You, Janice, were the first live jazz concert I ever saw when the Manhattan Transfer came to Anchorage. You can hear Janice Siegel's entire conversation with Hillary Gardner at WBGO.org. I'm Doug Doyle, WBGO News.